A chance encounter at a business meeting has helped a Minnesota woman lead a much better life. WCCO's Liz Collins shares how a kidney transplant sent a doctor at Mayo Clinic on a new mission to heal more patients just like her. I was struggling to breathe. I was struggling to eat food. I couldn't sleep well. Jolinda Conzemius battled through to be able to raise her daughter and get to work each day, diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease at the age of 12. My kidneys grew to the size of somewhere between a football each and a two liter bottle of Coke each. Family and friends weren't a match to give Jolinda the kidney she badly needed until a business meeting when she was teamed with a woman she barely knew. Six weeks later to the day, we were in surgery and Dawn was basically saving my life. Jolinda's became the first laparoscopic surgery six years ago at Mayo Clinic to involve doing two things at once, removing her diseased kidneys and transplanting the new one. After doing this operation separately for many years, uh, Jolinda was the first one that came in and said, uh, you know, can we do this all at once? Mayo doctor Mikel Prieto made it possible. He's done the same for more than 50 other patients since. His study, just published in the American Journal of Transplant, gives more surgeons a roadmap to do the same. Today's success rate with kidney transplantation is. particular group of patients, their success rate has been 100%. I think I'm probably one of the healthiest 49-year-olds out there. That includes Jolinda, who credits her doctor's empathy for developing the dual surgery and for giving her the chance to dance at her daughter's small wedding later this month, something that not long ago didn't seem possible. By getting a living donor and having the surgery, I will live an extra 40 years. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Without Don Odenthal's kidney, Jolinda would have gone on dialysis and joined the list of 100,000 other people in the United States waiting for a kidney. Jolinda hopes that this story reminds people to consider kidney donation. She says every healthy person has two and you only need one.